is that really kind of maybe the preseason um, mindset, so to speak, that you guys came in, and is that really serving you well right now, four weeks into the season? Uh, you know, I think really our focus is, is, you know, like we're saying, it's just taking it week by week. Um, you know, I think a lot of teams get so focused up in how, uh, how a whole season can play out too early. Um, so, you know, all our goals and all our dreams are, and aspirations are all, you know, very doable if every week we just go 1-0. One, one so that's the mindset. Was it nice as a quarterback knowing that your special teams are always there to kind of produce points, like at the beginning and the end of the game? Uh, I mean, 100%. I mean, having a kicker like Zane is, is amazing, and having a punter like Hawk, you know, is, is awesome. Um, and then also our return game, getting good field position. I think uh, I think there's probably a stat, you know, when we have good field position, we, we score almost, you know, 100% of the time. So, uh, you know, we're very uh, very blessed to have those guys, you know, and we just got to continue to get better every week. Do you remember your reaction when DJ Calhoun took that kick return back? I was just, you know, game wasn't over yet. Um, you know, obviously the smart thing to do there is get down, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a hell of a play on his part. And, you know, just I wasn't I wasn't happy because the game, there's still time on the clock. So when that clock hit zero, though, I was definitely filled with emotion. And what do you guys need to do offensively uh, at USC to get up with a quicker start than the last two games? Well, I just got to be I just got to be more on my game. Um, you know, those guys played a hell of a game and, uh, you know, line did a great job protecting me. Uh, running backs did a great job of running downhill. Um, receivers caught balls when they were thrown to them, and uh, you know I just got to make sure I, I get myself started early to get this offense going. Do you like going out to California and playing with California schools? Um, you know, every game I love going out anywhere, but uh, obviously California is a is a special place, and uh, SC is a is a very good opponent. So uh, we're we're ready to get out there and just go out there and have fun. It's great. Um, you know, I, I try to tell them each week because, you know, some guys uh, will, you know, maybe get frustrated or something like that because, you know, they don't get the touches or something like that. And these guys have done a really good job of just staying so grounded. Um, when another man eats, you know, next week somebody else is going to eat. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's a it's a, it's a group it's a group effort, and you know when somebody makes plays, another somebody else is gonna step up and also make plays. Is it is it a big deal going uh, playing in the Coliseum for you, or is it just a stadium that doesn't matter? Every game is just a game. Um, you know, I take it play by play, and uh, you know at the end of the day, I just want to come out there with a win. Any challenges specifically that uh, USC presents in the Uh Very talented. Um, you know, obviously they got a lot of playmakers over there. Uh, you know, linebacker core is pretty good. They got some some nice big and long uh, defensive ends. Um, Dory is, you know, a Dory. Uh, so, uh, you know, we're very uh, we're we're just gonna keep game planning and, and uh, just continue to make plays. A lot of people will say that you know USC right now is a desperate, humble team. But do you feel that maybe that's the key phrase you can come to come into a mindset like you're not four and zero, but maybe you know. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't say they're desperate. Um, they have lost to three really good football teams. Um, so, uh, you know, they're going to come out firing, and, you know, we just got to start fast and just make plays happen. That's it. Um, you know, and, and we'll be ready to go, and they'll be ready to go. It's going to be a fun game. Some coaches really minimize the whole halftime adjustments concept, but obviously it's something that for the first four weeks has worked for you and the whole team really well. Um, what's I, I to say, what's, what's been said at halftime that just keeps on working week after week? Uh, we just maintain and, and fix the errors that you know we had in the first half. Really, um, you know, never switch a game plan up or anything. We just kind of hone in and, and really and really just get after what we really were practicing all week. And you know, that's really the mindset. Is just come out in the second half like you should have come out in the first half, but with more because you know when you're a second, if you if you come out hard in the second half, you know a lot of teams go like this, and we're going to continue to go like this, so. When you run the ball, you tend to be very elusive and dodge defenders, and you don't see that a lot with quarterbacks. Um, what, what, is there something specifically you worked on, or is it just that's how you run? Just instincts. Um, kind of grown under my feet a lot as I've grown older. Um, you know, Coach Grizz has done a very good job of helping, you know, get explosive and all that stuff and make my legs a lot stronger. And the stronger I get, the more explosive I'll get. Um, you know, obviously I have a lot of work to do. Can't take some of the hits that I've taken, but uh, you know, I'm just going to continue to better myself every week. Do you like taking the hits or would you rather make the hits? 
It's football. I love it. Um, you know, if I get hit in the mouth, I'm always bounce back up. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it, it, it's nice to see somebody, you know, make a move on somebody and see him go the other way.